across the ARPANET itself. Now there's a legend, and we have no particular way to verify it, but the legend was that at one point during the, this time frame, Mazeworth was banned by DARPA because they said that half the packets in a given month were actually Mazeworth packets flying between Stanford and MIT. <laughs> I don't know if that was actually true. Uh, clearly there were a number of sites, including the UCSB, that, that played it as well. Uh, but it was a rumor. Also, as I did some research, I found some testimony or something somewhere that it came up in a debate about whether or not they should allow uh, U.S. Senators to have computers in, in Congress because they were afraid that they might you know, be in a network and spend their time doing maze war or something. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting lore that, that, that maze has made through the history. Now one problem is the original version of maze wasn't really designed assuming the long, you know, high latency and overhead of the ARPANET. So uh, the, the main thing you're doing is moving and those generated relatively long messages. So to make it more efficient, uh, Ken here and, and Charles actually redesigned the protocol a bit to instead of sending absolute movements, sending relative movements and crunching it back, back down into you know, one byte messages effectively. So that was one of the important optimizations. <laughs>